Our second talk of the day will be given by Dr. Nadeen al Alathia. Dr. Nadeen is a PG PGY1 emergency medicine resident at King Faisal Specialist Hospital and Research Center. Dr. Nadeen will be taking on uh, residency preparations when and how to start. Uh, Dr. Nadeen, you can start uh, whenever you want and thank you for agreeing to give this talk. Um, I'll stop sharing my screen. Uh, hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, this is Nadine Ladia, R1 Emergency Medicine and KFSH. Uh, thank you for the invitation. I'll be talking about hand, uh, how and when to start preparing for residency. Uh, I'll try to make it as brief and to the point as possible uh, to make the most point benefit out of it. And I'm sure that my other colleagues uh, will talk more in details in, uh, about the other parts. Um, if any of uh, Hajar, Bakhshwain, or Man have any interruption, they can interrupt me at any time to give their different opinions because there is no right or wrong in this topic. Everyone has their own way to get the out, uh, the best outcome. Uh, first of all, Saudi program matching depends on three things. Uh, just imagine a pie chart with me. 50% of this chart will be SMLE score. 30% will be GPA and 20% will be for the CV. Each part of this chart has its own timeline and way of preparing for it. Uh, for example, your GPA, you will start working on it and getting the best out of it during medical school. And then your GPA, your, sorry, the CV, it depends on the speciality you're interested in and how competitive it is. Um, if you decided, for example, what's, what you're interested in now, you can start filling your CV gradually to make, the, to make it look good for the application. Uh, some specialities are more competitive than others, so you have to work on your CV accordingly. Um, uh, are you sharing something right now? Sorry? No, uh, no, I'm are not you sharing something? Anything. No. Okay. Okay, uh, the CV will be composed of firstly, your internship electives. So for example, if you're interested in GS, you have to take as many electives months of GS in the, in the centers you're interested in or in other centers. Um, you also can be the chief intern during that month to make your CV look better. Then you have the research experience part where you'll put all your research participations, uh, not necessary in the speciality you're interested in, but it always will look better. Uh, after that, uh, the professional memberships and certifications, you can take BLS, ACLS, ATLS at any time. It's not necessary to take it, but for example, for emergency medicine, it always support the CV. Then the workshop and conferences, the volunteer experience. And at the end, you will put your, re your recommendation letters that you will take during the elective months that you will take during the uh, internship. And the stronger the name of the doctor giving you the uh, recommendation, the better. Uh, then uh, you will have your SMLE after the CB and your GPA, the SMLE score, which will account, which is going to account for 50%, the bulk. Um, internship will start in July, usually, and the application uh, in December. And you have three trials to take the exam. Uh, personally, I prefer, um, I prefer you to put your maximum effort in your first trial and then build on it. For example, start studying in July, take light rotation during that month, and study uh, for your SMLE for a whole two months uh, before your first trial. Um, you can get studying a group and um, make it your main focus and then enjoy it. Uh, after the first trial, see if you need to take the, a second trial of the first place. If you need it, if you need to take the second trial, you can build on it. The period of preparing for the second trial or the third trial 
will be shorter and shorter because it's literally the same material. You're just reviewing and seeing what you're missing. So in conclusion, everyone has their own timeline and a plan depends on the speciality they're interested in and how competitive it is. But generally focus on your GPA while you're still in medical school for the 30% and then fill your CV whenever you get the chance gradually uh, for the 20% during your medical school. And then don't worry about the SMLE, except when you start internship uh, on July. Um, make a clear plan and start studying for the 50%. Uh, that's it. Thank you all for listening. Uh, I have a shift in less than an hour, so I'll have to go and leave the meeting for my other colleagues. I'm sure that they will cover the other parts better. Uh, if anyone has a question, they can ask me now or contact me at any time. They're more than welcome. Okay, so some questions. I'm interested in multiple specialties. What advice regarding internship elective? Uh, that happens a lot. Uh, just take the the ones, all of them that you're interested in. And one elective of the speciality you're interested in will be elect for, uh, enough for your CV. What exactly to study for SMLE? It's so mostly the question bank, uh, but you have to spend more time to correct the questions and to have a side resource like Ambos or any other resource. And there is, I think, a talk about this. So I'll leave it for that. Can these electives taken abroad? Of course, it will be better and will support your CV even better. Uh, will internships start in July next year? Yes, uh, the change was in our batch because of COVID, but uh, in the upcoming years, it's usually if there is not another uh, um, COVID, they will have it in July. What to prepare for a CV, for example, emergency? As I told you, elective researches, uh, professional certifications. Uh, I can send you my CV if you're interested to take a general idea about it. What's the best time to, uh, to do electives? We have three months that's called the golden months before the interviews. I think usually January, February and March because the interviews will be on March usually. Um, these are the best three months to take your electives so they can remember you when you, you do your interviews. What's minimum GPA required for application? Um, GPA accounts for 30% only. So if you're interested in a competitive uh, specialty, you will have to have a very good GPA first honor, uh, like ophthalmology, um, plastic surgery. If it is a regular specialty like medicine, family medicine, emergency medicine, um, there is no minimum GPA. You have to calculate your whole a cumulative grade with the SMLE score and the CV points. How many electives you can take in uh, during internship? There is one elective month, and there is one selective medical, and there is one selective surgical. Um, for example, an emergency, you can take surgical elective as a emergency in a trauma center like Ishmaisi or uh, Prince Mohammed bin Abdulaziz Hospital and medical selective uh, and centers like KFSH. So in general, it can be around three months. Electives differ from internship rotations? No, electives are months that you take during your internship rotations. as elective. Does anyone have any more questions for Dr. Nadine? Uh, yes, I have a question. Go ahead. Okay, I wanted to ask about, uh, let's say uh, for preparation for the SMLE, let's say there's a specialty that I'm not pursuing in the future, yani, مثلا, 
should I focus to put this specialty in a hospital that I know will not work me hard so I could study better for the SMLE? You are not interested in OB-GYN? Yeah, for an example, any other specialty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not interested in the specialties, just put it in the lightest uh, rotations in private hospitals like Al-Habib, RCH, and uh, you know, like, uh, yeah, study for uh, your exam. Thank you. Just focus on the specialty you're interested in. Other than that, you can do it as much as you can. Uh, okay. Does the electives that I take during my medical school accounts in the CV? Of course, of course. All everything you can put in your CV, and everything can support your CV. Does repeating an exam in the summer affect my chance in match of matching at all? At all, it doesn't because you you don't put your uh, script uh, or your GPA in the CV at the first place, Aslan. Uh, Doctor. Yes. Uh, I have a question for anyone who didn't. Uh, يعني مثلاً أنا شخصياً ما اشتغلت على موضوع CV من بدري. So what mm -hmm. what are the things that I should focus on? يعني بالذات إنه بقالي سنة. Uh, you don't have to focus that much on the CV. This CV is not a big issue. You just have to make it look nice and to make it look that you're interested in the speciality you're interested in. You don't have to fill it like endlessly. Adi, three months of electives, couple of researches, couple of uh, volunteering, and then ACLS, uh, BLS are enough. Uh, now, for now, just focus on uh, your rotations. And if you have any chance of uh, any research, volunteering, just go for it. Other than that, you don't have to, uh, to stress on it that much. As on the CV, you will apply for it after the first match. So you have to work on things that will get you in the first match, not the second, okay? Tamam. Okay, we have more couple of questions. How do you know if the specialty is allowed for firm medical graduates or no? And how does applying differ? To be honest, I don't know. What is the formal process of applying emergency med uh, ER elective as medical student? Um, I don't have an idea about that. Maybe you have to go to the secretary of the department and ask them. What are the specialties that are less competitive? In Saudi Arabia, pediatrics, obigyni, medicine, uh, preventive medicine. These are the specialties that are less competitive. Does having research in multiple specialties affect my chance in getting into the one I want? Of course not. Research um, will always support your CV and it's not necessary in the specialty you're interested in. What about the electives I did in medical school and specialties I'm not interested in anymore? Um, you don't have to put them in the CV. Uh, just do electives of uh, and, and specialties you're interested in and put it in CV then. Any type of research. Any type of research will support uh, your CV, meta-analysis, systemic review, any uh, even uh, case reports. Uh, I mean internal medicine, not family medicine. Um, I have a question. Uh, do you do the electives and rotations at the same time? Uh, the elective is a rotation. And then an internship, two months medicine, two months pediatrics, two months uh, obigyni, two months GS. And then you have like 
one month emergency, you have three months left see, that you have to do as electives. One selective medicine, one selective surgical, and one elective. So it's basically a regular rotation, but it's the, the one that you chose. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What if I'm interested in one specialty, but I do have research experience that is not related to it? As I said, research always support your CV. And the CV in general comes after the first match. The second match comes after the interviews. So it always look good, the researches, but it's not that necessary. And it all depends on the speciality you're interested in. Okay, so the first match, uh, The first match is the acceptance that depends on your grades and your uh, CV points and your SMLE score. After that, you will have to go through interviews that you will apply your CVs on. And after that, there will be a uh, second match. Doctor. Uh... أنا أذكر شخص قال لي إنه إذا تبي أنت مثلا مستشفى معين إيه؟ فمثلا تبي المدينة uh, if you take multiple rotations over there it will help you much more in uh, getting the job هل هذا آه صحيح؟ صحيح إذا أنت مهتم في سنتر معين uh, تسوي عندهم الكتف بس مو لازم 15 شهر خلاص يعرفونك شهر واحد شهرين في التخصص اللي انت مهتم فيه و it will get you a better chance of course يعني مثلا انا الحين بكيف اسج emergency سويت عندهم شهرين عشان يعرفوني وعشان I maximize my chance فصحيح كلامك صحيح تمام شكرا لك اهلا وسهلا Uh, doctor, someone is asking in the chat, when is the best time to start researching? Uh, anytime you get the chance to participate in a research is a good chance for you um, at any year. Third year, first, but in the, pri in the basic year, just focus on your studies. After that, any chance you get, you can participate in it. Is there an expiration date of my volunteering that I cannot include in my CV? No, at all. If you did a volunteering at five, you can put it in your CV. It always supports your CV. Uh, top doctor, for the remaining questions, we can add them to the panel session at the end. Um, would that be better? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor, for this uh, very beneficial talk, and uh, I hope all of you guys benefited from it. Uh, thank you for the wonderful presentation, Doctor. Um, we will move on to the next session at 1.45 p.m. And uh, for the rest of the questions, we'll include them for the panel session later. <laughs>